What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. We got a truck here and we are about to take off. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Did you see that? Look at the front just lift off. <laughs> so we've got two pallets in the very back. DJ, why you got pallets in the back? Just quit, quit doing what you're doing right now. Uh-uh, can't make me. We are at the Garden Center. You can take a look here. Garden Center down here on the right-hand side. Racha. We are... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. So we're going to pull over here. What is this? There's all kinds of stuff here. There's all kinds of pallets out here. And it says Unloading Bay. Well, all right. Don't mind if I do. Watch the money. Money is going up. Oh yeah, bam. And uh, another one, bam. $7,941 in sold pallets. That was one seed and one fertilizer, which cost me, um, well, I guess we could find out what it cost me, didn't it? Let's go down here in two pallets, cost me, $2,500. So we made roughly, <clears throat> roughly $5,400. That's awesome. Let's go get some more pallets. All right, we've got another set and we are about to show you something really cool. Watch this. We got, <laughs> we got hydraulics. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that crap. I can't believe it. Let's do it again. And a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. A lizard rodeo. It is a rodeo up in here. So we have liquid fertilizer now and pig food and hydraulics. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you gotta be careful. I've already flipped these things twice. Uh if you could look over below horseshoe. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, food uh money's going up. Let's see how much money we get for both these. There goes one. Let's go ahead and open that. And there goes the other. That's eleven thousand six hundred and sixty nine. Six hundred and ninety-nine dollars for that. We paid two four thirty eight hundred so we made close to seven thousand that is awesome we've got uh three more palette types in order to try and i think if we can we're gonna try and put all three on the back i just don't think it's gonna fit so we might not do that and we'll just pick like well, we'll pick two and then we'll come back and we'll get two more of the same type. That's, well, that's pretty much how that's going to happen. Let's do it. You guys are wondering where I'm getting these pallets from. I'm just buying them at the store. Like legit. Oh yeah. That's a, uh, here's one of the areas where I uh, flipped the truck the first time. And there back there's where I flipped the truck the second time. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah. yeah. All right. Swing them around here. We got a Kramer in here. Ooh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. All right, let's hop out of here. We got a Kramer. Pull it out of the way. And let's buy more pallets. So we've got, like I said, three different, or three more pallets to do. So let's do pallet saplings. Yes, $40. And poplar saplings, $280. That's a combined of $320, I know, because I can do math. I'm going to go with the ones that look like they're going to be the heaviest first. Those are going to go on the very back. And let's bring this down nice and easy. Perfect. Now let's run over here. I want to grab the truck and swing it wide. Let's go ahead and lower the tailgate. Perfect. So the way you get the first one out is kind of interesting. Uh, second one's not too bad. But the first pallet is real tough. You kind of have to get, well, you got to get lucky. There we go. Go ahead and leave that running. That's all right. 
Lift this up and should be driving directly in and we're stick. All right. Yeah, the uh, pallet forks just there's something with them right there that just don't want to work. There we go. There goes one. You know what? We might be able to get three if we leave the tailgate down. So what I'm going to be doing, um, as we did some yesterday, and we're going to do more today, is show you different ways to make money on Sussex. That way, whenever you guys want to come and play Sussex, you really can make it all your own. You can choose, okay, I don't want to do crops. I want to do animals, and I want to sell pallets for a living. <laughs> well, you can. You you most certainly can. All right. Let's get this to a point where we can kind of get it forward a little bit. There we go. And get it to a point where we can just pull out of there. There we go. Kind of push this forward as far forward as possible. And it looks like we are going to be able to get one last pallet. Yep. We've got room, so we are going to do it. Sugar cane pallet. Yes, I want to purchase. Duh. Why would I not? Come on. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. This is uh, dangerous, and do not try this at home unless you want to uh, really, really see how bad you are. We're good, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. And pulling forward. Ooh, ease it up, ease it up. This is definitely the heaviest out of all three. Fortunately, we're putting it on the very back, so we're good. <laughs> oh, we need to get it in and down and back up. Pull forward just a little bit and slam into it. There we go. Oops, turn that off. In the back. There we go. Uh... Can we, uh, oh, we definitely can. Ba bam ba bam ba bam This is, uh oh So this is kind of the dangerous part because these things like to move. So I'm going to try my best. Close that. Hopefully we don't get any craziness. See, they're moving and they're sliding, which has not been a problem before because the pallet in the very back, well, they were all inside. So now, the more we move around, I learned my lesson the first time. Don't take this turn. Yep, you can see where I went off to. <laughs> and then the second time I went off right there. I held it. Barely, but I held it. I went left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And wow. <laughs> All right, slow down way before our turn. Take this turn. Take this turn. Should we make this the thumbnail? This is pretty funny. I've already taken, uh, well, I've taken a picture of each each load that I brought over here, but I think this is, this is definitely one of the more humorous loads. Oh, my goodness. All right, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Oh, come on. And then we get to right here. You can see I go off the road every time there. And we get to right here. And then we try out this. It sucks the further along you get. All right, let's get a little bit. Yep, that second bounce seems to be the best one. Ah, yeah, we're done. <laughs> okay, so now we've got three different kinds of pallets. We have poplars. We have a sapoli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did I buy? I can't even remember. Oh, pallet saplings, poplars, and sugar cane. So let's get uh, about right here. And then we'll back in there. All together, these pallets cost us, let's see, $12.90, $14.15.70. Sixteen ten. Sixteen hundred and ten dollars. So wow, that one's gone already. Hey, hold on a minute. Now hold up. K 
can oh, that, that'll do it, huh? Can we not sell these here? Oh well. <laughs> I guess either way they're getting left, aren't they? Come on, get either in or out. I don't care which way you go. Out is okay. So we can't sell these here. Something tells me somebody's gonna be like, no, of course you can't. No, everybody knows you can't do that. You gotta sell them to this other place. Shut up. You know what? We're leaving them there. <laughs> we are leaving them there. So our next stop is going to be gasolina. We're gonna sell some gasoline. Now, the really cool thing about this is we can buy it at the main farm. And all we gotta do is go to the gas station and sell it. How cool is that? So let's head back, let's grab us a semi truck, and we've got our gasoline tanker waiting. We now have the Grant Coot Tanker. So we are going to pick up gas from, I guess we could have picked it up over here, couldn't we? Let's back up just a little bit more. So we could pick up gas. And we can buy it. So we're gonna buy gasoline from here. If I can back up this darn thing. And can we get close enough? No symbol yet. How about we go into help window? First need to fill the tool. Well, yeah, no kidding. Fill my tool. Come on. All you gotta do is fill my tool. Is this the only place to buy gas? Um, it is, but it doesn't look like we're in it. Is it really in here? Because I thought I saw a gasoline point in here as well. Let's cut on some lights, see if we can see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I didn't get the uh, lights all around, the extra lights. So let's back up. We should be able to get gas from right here in this little area. There we go. Okay. So now we're buying gas in a pretty exorbitant rate and cost to us. This is going to cost us, let's see, let's hold 60000 And it costs us $118,799. So $119,000 basically is what it cost us. So what we want to do is we want to head to the gas station down at Abbott's Farm and that is where we are going to sell this. DJ, you can't sell gasoline. <laughs> oh, can I not now? Oh, look at the gas thing. It's I'm taking it with me. Oh, that's cool. Because it's like a little get. Look at look at look at the thing. Oh, that's awesome. That is so neat. And swing around. Tell you what, this is a beautiful map. We are rocking out uh, at the end of day two right now. So there's not a whole lot still going on, but we want to make money. Now, we don't have to make a whole lot of money, but right now there are no tractors, none whatsoever, on Spectacle Island. So, this being part of the Spectacle series, Spectacular Sussex, as it is so named. And now, let's come in here. I don't know if that's... Uh, so that is water. Is this the gas cell point? This looks like it. Let's see, unload. Oh, money's going up. Look out, look out, look out. Holy cow, we are selling gas from now on. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, wow. Did we just double our money? 119 to 248. Wow. That's uh, oh, can we not fill up down here? Oh, that's right. Jim said you cannot actually fill up at the gas station. This is more of a buy it and sell it kind of thing. I'm looking to see if there's any more gas stations in the area, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like that's going to be the only one. We're going to head back and we're going to buy some more gas. And, uh, and then I think we're going to start looking into the new tractors we're going to be buying. We are going to be buying Doisfar tractors for Sussex Island, but we have to, well, we've got trucks, but we need flatbeds and everything else like that. So we are going to have to purchase at least two flatbeds 
to hold the what four four tractors that we're gonna buy four I think we're buying four we may even buy five I don't I don't know it depends on how much money we can make but regardless we just made a boo coodle load I mean we we profited over a hundred thousand dollars from selling gasoline at one time so we have to do this again we just <laughs> we have to man we have to let's fill it up we'll see you back down there we're gonna sell some more gas and we are back once again to sell another load here we go pull through here oh too far man that money is going up doesn't appear to be going up as fast as it was but it's still going up four hundred thousand we made a hundred and fifty yeah, we did not uh, we did not make as much that time. Wow, we made a lot less actually. So this is a once in a while kind of thing. This is not a do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So let's jump into Doisfar here. Let's see what we've got. We've only got three different tractors to choose from. We will be getting at least right now one Agro Star, one Series 7, and two Series 9. Series 7 is the one that's going to have the front loader on it. It is going to be the workhorse around the main farm. Series 9, those are going to be the big boys. They are, they're going to be the uh, three, well, 336 horsepower. It's not a crazy amount of power, but it does work. So that's fine, and it's, you know, it's powerful enough to do most, most of the things that we want to do around the farm. One of these is going to run us $271. We're going to run a little bit of math here real quick, and I'm going to tell you exactly how much we need to get out of Sussex. In order to get out of here, we are going to need $772,000. Yo, we're, we're like almost halfway there. <laughs> that's pretty cool i wish we could sell the equipment on the farm we'd actually make some money and get out of here but we cannot do that we cannot do that at all so what we're gonna do now is i've been told that you can sell water that's right i've been told that you can sell water so we are gonna try and figure out where it is that we can actually sell this water we saw a hydrant back there but I believe that is a purchase point I don't think that it is a sell point I'm thinking maybe at the garden center possibly somewhere else around but I don't know for sure so we're gonna park this up here and we're gonna grab our other tanker this is the multi tank pretty much the same thing it will hold fuel as well you just cannot sell fuel out of it, which kind of stinks. But now we have this. So we're gonna head back down there first. We're gonna try and determine if it is a buy point or a sell point. If it is a buy point, well, that's great. We're gonna fill this thing up. If it's a sell point, well, I guess we'll know because we can't fill it up, can we? So we have to turn on our help window back on again. That way we can tell what is going on we have no idea. We had no freaking clue what we're doing without this. Oh my goodness. This map, there's just so much to do and there's only so many things that you can put down. You know, it's where do you buy water? Where do you buy fuel? Where do you do this? Where do you do that? Oh, it's everywhere. It's still got green on it too. Meow. Okay. Swing around through here. I think handles way better. Okay. It's either fill up. Okay. So we are getting the refill, which is fine. Um, do we have a water source? Yeah, yeah, forget it. Just fill up the water. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be filling up on the inside. Very, very interesting. So again, I have no clue where to sell this. So don't, don't judge me for it. I just, it's like there's tanks back there. I wonder if it's right here. Yo, if this is the case, if they're literally right here, I'm a flip. 
Uh, I've talked to Jim, and he has been super helpful with a lot of things. And uh, there were a few things I told him. I said, please just don't tell me where this is. Water, of course. I'm getting the unload. And we are unloading. Ah, oh, I forgot to see how much money it cost us. Darn. Um, well, anyway, selling now. So, we didn't really make a whole lot. Let's, uh... Crap. Let's do that again. 29, so we made 29000 that time. Eventually, we're going to do this, and it's not going to net us any money. But, <laughs> I'm here to find out. $29,000. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, let's pull away, see if it tells us how much we paid. Nope, it does not show us how much we paid for the water. I tell you what, this thing is certainly heavy. We'll pull in here. $29,000. Let's unload. How much money are we going to be getting? Oh boy. Wow, barely anything. 19, okay. So, again, it is a don't do this very often kind of thing. Okay. I can respect that. So how about this? Let's leave this tanker here. Because I don't... I mean, I'm definitely going to want to fill that back up later. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Let's head back to the main farm. Let's make sure everything is good before we move on to the next day. Before we move on to the next day, we need to make sure the animals are all good. So we are going to run over here. We're going to grab the Manitou. Oh, yeah. Love this thing. Let's see if we can go first person for a little while. Let's turn some lights on here. Manitou Elite. All right. Who's excited about the new Manitou that's going to be coming to Farming Simulator 19? I am pumped for the new Manitou. It looks great. The red and the black. Oh, this looks so good. Very, very good. The we'll swing around here. Shouldn't have too much to clean up, if anything. Let's go first person, third person. Uh, yeah, pretty much nothing. Let's check it in 96% cleanliness. So we're just going to leave that as is. We're going to let the cleanliness go kind of south overnight. And then we are going to come back in tomorrow morning. We will see you. Well, it'll be a split second for you, but it's going to be many, many hours for us. Uh-oh, wrong button. Wrong button? Wrong... What? What did I hit? Uh-oh. What's that? Did I... No, we're good. Okay, cool. Good night. <laughs> good morning, everybody. DJ Go Ham here. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Ah, I'm kidding. We're in the same video. You knew that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Hmm? I don't know. Cha -cha -cha. So we just got done uh, selling a load of hay. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Sure enough, you can do it. Uh, another thing I've noticed is that when it gets dark up until about 5, oh gosh, 5.30 in the morning, that's got to hurt. <laughs> you get these chirp sounds, like little insects, little bugs everywhere. So freaking cool. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, I have talked with our buddy Jim. And I have told him, hey, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And he said, that's great, that's great. Have you worked on any crops yet? I said, well, no, not, I haven't yet. I said, I think I've got crops in every field, though. He said, no, nah, you're not allowed to have those. It's like, well, well, what? He said, no, sorry. He said, you have to cultivate or plow up everything, and you have to plant your own crops. I said, oh, come on, man. But they're just all out there for the taking. I think like every single field we've got is ready. Yeah, not every single field we've got, but well, no, take that back. Yeah, most all the fields we have are ready to be harvested, but alas, we are not allowed to because Jim is a party pooper, but it's okay. He's also a party starter and uh, well, Party starters make the best party poopers. And party poopers do not make good party starters. I swear. 
If you're a party pooper, do not try and start a party. <laughs> but, here we go. There's that. Oh, airplane somewhere. Hear him right there. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Where, where the heck is the... Oh, yeah, the Manitou's all the way over there. Well, then, in that case, let's jump into 1455. Let's back out of here. And let's go see our Manitou. Let's go see the mess that our beautiful, beautiful cows have made overnight and see if they have reproduced yet. Not likely. There's a good chance they haven't. There's just not enough of them. Uh, there's not a bunch out here, but it's definitely nasty. So let's park that up. And let's grab this. Now, the only thing that I don't know where it is is the solid manure for the cows, but I'm sure that that is on the other side. Well, let's drop this down at a reasonable level. There we go. And we are getting the grass. There we go. Oh, slam it down. Oh, yeah. The poo is definitely back there. We're going to take a look at it before we leave. There we go. Mr. and Mrs. Baby Cows, you are all done, and you didn't didn't have too much. 425 liters. That is it. Well, you know what? <laughs> the cow's looking up like, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding, gal. It's just me. It's DJ. What's up? <laughs> All right, so for now, I think I'm going to park this right here. There's nothing in here, so let's run back here real quick. I want to see. Also, does this open? Sometimes it does. Not on this map. All right, let's see how much we've got. Oh, a little bit of baby pile of poo. Very cool. And that I don't think fills up at all. Take a look at our animals. What have we gotten? Cleanliness is back all the way up, so we're good there. Uh, reproduction rate, we don't have any yet, but we'll have one just about every two days now. Liquid manure is up, milk is up. I tell you what, it is not bad. It is not bad. Good things are happening here on Sussex. We have a lot of work to do still. We still have another, we need $772,000, 779, something like that. So we still have a lot to accomplish. What am I doing? I don't want to get in that. We want to get in that. So guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And if you guys have any ideas that you want to see on Sussex, let me know. I'll be happy to check those out and entertain your ideas and thoughts. So, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace!